<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Ed and Heather's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making something I've never tried before. Honestly, Ed, we're playing, we're experimenting. We're going to do some grilled pork belly. Alright, let's get cracking. Here we have a pork belly. This is not a whole pork belly. <laughs> This is maybe a third of a pork belly, and this is still five pounds. I don't need to cook five pounds, so I'm going to split it in half. That's skin. We want that. Now, now I'll give you the, an idea how tough this skin is. This knife is razor sharp. Now, look at that. Beautiful. This is what they make bacon out of. We're not making bacon. I might try that later, but we're not doing that today. Now, the first thing is prep. I have in here some potatoes and some onions, just minced up. I actually have a couple of apples chopped up in here. Your prep time on this is very quick. You're not mincing, you're not doing anything fancy, you're just real fast, chop, chop, throw it in. Now this, this is what takes some time. You take your knife, you're gonna score this skin about every quarter inch. You want it split, see how that's splitting? You want it to get down into the fat. Now this is going to take some time, so I'll be back when it's done. So we're almost done here. Yeah, what we're doing with this, we're getting it down into the fat. It's going to help render out a lot of that fat. And we're not cutting real deep, but you can see. This is in nice. This is also going to help with making crackling. And that's when that skin cooks nice and hard. Now. I'm going to season this, both sides. And go liberal. There's that SPG I keep talking about. Thank you, Barbecue Pit Boys. Slap that around over there. Actually, I'm going to put this in this pan. There we go. You can put whatever veggies you want in the pan. The big thing is you want to chunk them up kind of rough, like I did, because that keeps the meat off the bottom of the pan out of the grease. You don't want it sitting in the grease, at least I don't. Do you like grease? Now we're going to hit this with a little bit of olive oil. That's going to help this get all nice and crackly. Work those spices down into those cuts. There we go. So I'll be back when the grill's ready. So here we are. Everything's ready. The grill's hot. Traffic noise, sorry, can't help it. This grill is up to about 400 degrees. The charcoal over on one side. We're just going to put this in over here. I forgot to mention earlier that I added some uh, hard cider to this. Just down inside, enough to cover the bottom. That'll help keep it from burning. Also keep some steam in there. I just added a chunk of wood. We're going to get some nice wood smoke going. We're just going to close this up. And we're going to let it cook for a while. I'll be back when we have to turn it. Okay, let's give this a look. Oh, that's looking good. Looking really nice. Let's give it a turn. The reason we turn it is just so it cooks both sides evenly. 
Now we're going to close this up and let it cook for a little while longer. I'm getting hungry. Hey, it's been another 45 minutes. I had to come out and add some more charcoal to this, keep the heat up. You can see it's cooking nicely. I'm just going to turn this again. Ton of juice, ton of grease coming out of it, fat. But you can see it's cooking nice. Add a little more wood, close it up, let it cook for a while longer. Hey everybody, oh, it's been a couple hours now. Uh, what time is it? Uh, coming up at quarter of seven. This is this went in about 2, 2.30. Oh, look at that. This is ready. I'm just going to move this over to a platter. We're going to go inside. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is windy as hell. Might not be able to hear it over the uh, traffic. So, let's go in and we'll see what this is like. So, we're back inside. I, don't, I made it sound like it's freezing out and we're up in real cold area we're not we're in florida but hey it's still windy we got some veggies going here i'll have to try some of those pretty greasy though now listen to this that's cooked up nice if i flip it up you can see there's not a whole lot of fat left in there it just looks tasty so we'll be back. We're going to let this sit for a couple minutes and then we'll give it a try. Okay, everybody. This has been sitting for about five minutes. I'll listen to that. Nice and crispy. Pork cracklings. So, like I said, it's been sitting about five minutes. We're going to cut a chunk off here and give this a try. I have never had this before. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Certainly smells good. Hotter and Hades. Listen to that crackling. Oh, that meat just falls right off. Look at that. Who needs a fork? Or who needs a plate? We'll just cut some of this up. Give this a taste test. That's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Could have used some more seasoning on that side. But I'll give Heather a taste of this. While she's taste testing that, I'm gonna cut up some of this crack one. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> Smokey wants some. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Super Duper Ultra Mega. Delicious. Well, that crackling is good. Mmm. 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 Mm. Hold on a second. Let me find something. Slap a little salt on this. Give that a try. Oh, there you go. Oh, hell. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Salt definitely does something for it. Oh, yeah. Throw some salt on the uh, crackling.
This is definitely food that you're going to want to eat. Huh? There you go. Mm. Oh, yummy. All right, everybody. It's been an adventure today. Yes, I'm still chewing. I'll put the uh, recipe, what there is of it, down below. Yep, down there. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. This is good. I'm going to have to make this again. I'm going to use some different seasonings next time. Yep, I was kind of questioning this because it's really fatty. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. It's really fatty when you buy it. But, oh, it turns out good. All right, everybody. We'll be back again. Not sure when. Not sure what we'll be cooking. But it's going to be fun. Until then, play with your food. <laughs>